Discovering Carrie Judd Montgomery's life has radically impacted my own life. Her faith has taken my faith to new levels. Tapping into her story has given me courage to step into impossible situations, knowing that God would back me up because he did the same for her a hundred years ago. Carrie is a forgotten healing revivalist, opened some of the earliest healing homes in the nation, and I'm so excited to release her story because I believe it's important for our generation and it will teach us how to live and bring revival and the Holy Spirit forward to generations to come. Before we go there, I want to introduce you to some people that have also been blessed by her story. For the viewers at home, let me just give you a brief synopsis of Carrie Judd Montgomery. Heidi knows, knows her a little bit already. Um, I like her. She is a cool, cool chick, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm feeling Holy Spirit's just, just crashing in on me, like, like this woman I know, just like Carrie. It's like, wow. I actually believe we have an inheritance. So if I have one, then what, am, what's my dream mm -hmm. as a daughter? Mm -hmm. Like, I have a dream to be fully filled, and, and it's like. This is the thing. Mm. We are fully filled to give, to mm. give, to give. And it's like the more you, you pour out, you just trust God like He's going to give you more. The Home of Peace was established in 1893 by Carrie Judd Montgomery, the first healing home on the West Coast, 20 years before John G. Lake's Healing Rooms. It's been a center where people have come to pray and seek for healing and also seek for more of the Holy Spirit. People have been baptized in the Holy Spirit and healed and sent around the world as missionaries. People like Smith Wigglesworth, Amy Simple McPherson, Mariah Woodworth Edder have all come there to seek for more of God and God has done great and powerful things things there. So much so that Lou Engel came on a hunt because he discovered that um, some revivalists had stayed there before and he wanted to tap into the wells and so he spent 40 days praying and fasting there preparing for the call before he launched his call in 2014. I'm here now for 40 days with a group of about 50 young people that have come here to pray and fast for the next 40 days starting tonight, uh, uh, whatever day, the 20, uh, evening of the 25th. We launched 40 days of fasting and prayer for a new Jesus movement that God would pour out his spirit like Lonnie Frisbee's and a, 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 another wave of revival in California. We believe this, and I'm actually staying in the home of peace for 40 days to, to fast and pray. Hi, I'm Bill Johnson from Bethel Church here in Redding, California. I'm holding a book in my hand that uh, is going to prove to be extremely important. Uh, to everyone interested in what God is doing, what he's done in the past, and where he's taking us in the future. Carrie Judd Montgomery is one of those individuals that was so significant in history and yet has largely been forgotten. Her life will prove to be prophetic in that it will testify what God has done in the past and really empower and enable you, me, all of us to carry this on into the future. I just encourage you, pick up the book, read it, you'll be blessed. I hope that I've whet your appetite to discover more of the life and legacy of Carrie Judd Montgomery, and I believe that just as she has significantly impacted my life, she will impact yours as well. I want to close with this prayer that she released in 1910, and believe and pray that even as you listen to this prayer, you'll be launched into a greater measure of your destiny. Now who is going to trust God for the winged life? You can crawl instead if you wish. God will even bless you if you crawl. He will do the best he can for you. But oh, how much better to avail our wonderful privileges in Christ and to mount up with wings as eagles, to run and not be weary, to walk and not faint. Oh, beloved friends, there's a life on wings. I feel the streams of his life fill me and permeate my mortal frame from my head to my feet until no words are adequate to describe it. I can only make a few bungling attempts to tell you what it is like and ask the Lord to reveal to you the rest. May he reveal to you your inheritance in Christ Jesus so that you will press on and get all that he has for you.